Hello, and today we're going to be talking about CCK, a really key concept when you get into Drupal. But wait, you're going to think we've already done a video on, on CCK. It's it's so complicated that I need to do another video on it because I, I really didn't do it justice in the last video. And I wouldn't be surprised, to be quite frank, if I run over on this video because it's just uh, there's just a lot to explain. Again, I'm going to be going through a very simple use case. In the last video, we uh, set up our book review content type, and here it is. We've got the publisher, the name of the book, and a basic re review of the book. Um, well, what if we wanted to add a, um, a link to where the person could get more info? We could just put a link in the actual body section, which is what I've done there. But that way, it doesn't stay very constant with um, what the user's looking for. So, um, what would be good if you could just create a CCK field with a link where, for the book review, for the book review content type, the user could always find out more info in that place. This keeps user the user experience more constant and uh, is easy is easy easier to people who don't know HTML to fill out what the link is because they don't have to um, know HTML. So let's have a look at what we're using to do this. We're just using the link. Um, field which is like a module for CCK and so if we look have a look at uh, I've just downloaded the link uh, uh, field and it will come in my modules and I just enable link We can now go in and if we go to content management and then content types and then we can manage the fields uh, again like I said in the last video this is CCK doing its thing and then we can add a field called uh, more info and then I'm just going to make the machine reader more name more. And then the field type is going to be link. If you noticed before, when we didn't have this enabled, this was just text. So now it's link. So the only option we have is text field for title and URL. So we're just going to hit save. And then I'm going to rearrange that. And then in the help text, I'm just going to put enter helpful. And then I'm going to uh, say it's not required because you may not have a link. And then I'm going to uh, say that you can have as many values as you want because you might have many. And then I'm going to say optional title so the user doesn't need to have a title. And then I'm not going to do anything for the CSS class or the rel. Um, but I'm just going to save the field settings. I'm now going to move the more info field up so that it's next to what the rest of the stuff to make it easier. And I'm just going to save. 
let's now go in and edit our content um, and it's given us the option to specify two links here because I again I told it that we could have two links so where can we find more info about this book I'm just gonna say um, more info and for this I'm only gonna have one and I don't know what the URL of the book is so for this I'm just gonna say Drupal.org and for this use case I'm not going to fill out the other field the reason why I enabled unlimited fields was so that you could see what you do if you need to add some more links so we can now get rid of this inline link that's in the body we can just hit save and then if we view that content we see we've got the more info link that stays constant throughout all the content so it's always in the same place and the person doesn't have to know the syntax for link in HTML um, and it's all good so that was a another example of how to use a custom field for CCK in this case it was the link field um, but when I talk about how to manage images in Drupal, we're going to be needing to use CCK. So go back and check these previous two videos and make sure you understand CCK. Because to be quite frank, if you don't understand CCK, CCK you're not going to understand Drupal. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it.